Hello there. Hello there. I don't know if this is recording or not. I've got to speak quietly because this um, bloody speaker microphone is really fucked. Oh dear. Well, what's going on? Um, I don't really know what to say, but what I was thinking of saying is uh, someone's recently sent me an email asking about um, Jimson Reef. Now, what I know about Jimson Reef is it's um, pretty nasty stuff, Datura. Um, Carlos Castaneda, I wrote a whole load about it and how to prepare it and how to take it, etc. Um, this, this kid, this guy, wanted to know how much to take um, and what to take and how to take it, whether he takes the leaves, the seeds, whatever. And um, I basically didn't recommend it at all. Like the time that I had it, it was a horrible experience. I was um, I was hallucinating like a fuck, but it, it was like a dream. Um, it wasn't like a like an acid or a, or a whatever type of hallucinations. It was it was just it was just fucked up. Um, I felt really, really, really ill. Headache. Misty, I couldn't see properly. That's when I could remember what was happening. Like most of the time, I couldn't remember fuck all. Like of the whole experience, I just sort of remember slowly coming round and feeling fucked up and and everything. My vision was all misty and, and almost monochrome. Um, my eyes were just grey, totally grey. Like like uh, all the whites were grey. Um, oh, it took me, and my tongue, it felt like it was the size of a brick, and it actually felt like a brick, sort of dry, and, and, and all the moisture in it was just like sucked out of my, what little saliva I could muster. Um, yeah, it wasn't a nice experience. Basically, the, the, um, in ancient India, like the thugs, they used to make you biscuits, and they put a few seeds in the in the biscuit and cook it in like with a load of honey or something, so you can't taste the bitterness. And hey, have a biscuit, hey, yeah, yeah, have a biscuit. Oh, sit in the train carriage with me. Yes, I do. Oh, have a cup of coffee. And the next thing you know, you're, you're, you're it still goes on today. You know, like you'd be totally fucked not knowing where you are and, and you come round and, and you're wandering about in your underpants and everything <laughs> all your luggage and everything's gone I, I've heard of someone that it happened to like, not a friend or anything but a friend who was out there had um, heard of a traveller that exactly that happened to at least he didn't get the knotted handkerchief eh? <laughs> anyway um, the only way, I've never tried it myself like this, but what I recommended to do, I might be wrong, but um, I recommended that he dug up the tap root, like, um, took about a foot section of it, blended it into some aqueous cream, and rubbed, you know, about a foot of it onto his arm or onto his back, or just a little bit. Um, shouldn't rub it on your head, well, according to Carlos, um, Don Juan, you shouldn't rub it on your head, but... Um, it sort of uh, really fucks you up and introduces you straight to the spirits. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those sort of drugs. It's, um, it's it's not like DMT or it's not like any of those. It's it's a totally different type of hallucination and it's not comfortable. It's not pleasant. It's not not enjoyable. It's it's it just is. It's a, it's one fucking hell of an experience so um, in that way it might be worth doing not if you live through it but it's, it's not a pleasant experience but yes you do learn a lot from it like you, when you come out the other side you, you, you've got that extra knowledge that you, you, you don't normally have access to until the right moment but you know that you've learned something and there's something in the back of your mind that, that, that makes you a stronger person or a weaker person or a better person or, or, or whatever but you, you know that you've learned something and it's like in a jar labels ready for when you need to remember it I'm sure you know what I mean 
Yeah. Oh dear. I'm feeling fucked at the moment. Absolutely weirded out. Last night I had half an E, half an acid tab, half a line of um, this sort of, I don't know, trippy shit. So I suppose I must be half tripping. <laughs> Little trip I used to like freak people out on buses or wherever. I didn't really have anything last night, but I just uh, found some eye drops. I like putting one in one eye and not the other. It scares the shit out of people. See what I mean? Uh, yeah. Oh, God, what's the time? Ten past nine. Ten past nine. Fucking hell, it's getting late or early. Time to go to bed. Alright, well. I'm sorry I haven't got anything better to say, but it'll be coming soon, I guess. Take it easy, guys. And, uh, peace.